the fuck? Uh. Okay, let's start this show. Yeah. Odd for life. Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is the Raging Falcon, owner of Raging Falcon Wrestling, and you're watching another night on this channel, so therefore another revolution. Tonight we will promise you more great content coming on the way um, as we're getting closer to our exclusive Revolution brand event, episode 7, Nightmare's Decision. That's going to be great. First up, this match is a women's match scheduled for one fall and introducing first from Coburg, Germany, it's Melanie Gray. And Melanie Gray is the first ever Triple Crown champion in the women's division, held the women's title, the Glamazons title and the women's tag team title on multiple occasions. So that shows you how great she is. Um, so thank you very much all for tuning in. I hope you're gonna have a great time and let's see what that's going to be like um, I think we're gonna have a great show uh, Next week you will be also seeing a new episode of Fight Night and Revolution And taking a recap on last Monday night Next week the RFPW Championship is on the line when Axel Dieter Jr. defends his title against a new number one contender Tyler Bate now let's meet our opponent from Fontana in the USA. She's been the women's champion this year for 95 days. And that is none other than Mia Yim. Mia Yim is known for her supreme battles with Viper. And also alongside Crazy Mary Dobson. So I think we're in for a good run here tonight. Let's see what these two actually all stars in a women's division can bring up on tonight. If you have predictions then please let them know as all of your correct predictions will be counted with one point for the RFPW fan standings. Winner at the end of the year will get a gift certificate most likely to get your own souvenir of this year of RFPW. Next year will be even greater with more events to come the expanded modern wrestling tour where we had it up from Germany into the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany uh, we also will host another expanded Premier League and Women's Premier League and we will introduce new wrestlers as well oh here we go oh man straight away to the knee this is what you could have expected right from the beginning these two women are vicious till the end and they will not stop there. We'll just keep going at it the way they should be. Oh man. There we go. And what can we expect from these two women going into that Nightmare's Decision event uh, for Revolution in around uh, nearly a month because the rankings have been subdued with uh, the takedown of the academy and the rosters merging into a uh, fight night and revolution I mean we have seen pretty awesome things happen and let me tell you that tonight we have something great scheduled as well Levon or formerly known as Levon Dutch will defend her women's championship against Soraya Knight for the second time this time in a steel cage match and 
in the main event, a fatal four-way for the Dutch Championship. Can Joel Vox cling on to what he won at episode 6, Crossroads? Now we'll be defending against Eamon Satoshi, Tommy N and Max Damon. Oh man. Oh, there we go. Melanie Gray. Oh, she's gonna go for the takedown. And Torch was going to uh, for reverse suplex. But that it went totally different. Um Jeez. Ow. Wow, there we go. So we've gone into a different direction, so. But uh, yeah, we thank you all for coming in. This is way more than we normally have. Oh, God. Merlin Great. In the meantime, has she finished off? Mayhem right here. Oh, so close. And uh, because there's a lot of talk about it in chat, um, uh, just hook us up on uh, Twitter or Skype for that. Uh, I noticed you guys. There's been a lot of talk about uh, new upcoming projects. Um, we've actually worked a lot and a lot harder, uh, in this case with Carnage on Twitch. And we have come to... Uh, the grounding of a new society, a new wrestling promotion, the European Wrestling Association, scheduled to air soon. If you want to join that project, hook me up or Carnage on Twitch via uh, Twitter, Twitch, Skype, whatever, and then we will get to it. So yeah, we're just looking for a lot of things coming up. Oh man. Yeah, neat. That's a lovely message. People always know how to speak with computers. I shouldn't be doing that. Um. It's mostly European wrestlers that you will also be seeing on here, as well as in the European Wrestling Association. But we will also uh, host uh, a new pool of talent. Oh, and Melanie Gray wins it. <laughs> yeah. Most notable, uh, of course, for Westside Extreme Wrestling. But the European Wrestling Association has started a working relationship with RFPW and uh, it will be no doubt that we will be sending some stars over there to steal the show. But also in the European Wrestling Association we open up a new type of academy, open uh, two training for all kinds of new uh, aspiring wrestlers and uh, we will put that on the line, give them their own opportunities and uh, let's see how they will uh, fly on their, uh, on their own. With the help of their trainers. And your winner once again, Melanie Gray. So uh, there was one that had this correct prediction, I heard that. Um, where was it? Thomas Eddie said Melanie Gray, so I'm counting that. And Thomas Eddie gets the point. Um, for actually getting the right prediction. Whoops, I fucked up my language there. Doesn't really happen that a lot. Often, that's what I want to say. Jesus, it's really going downhill sometimes. Just happens, you know. But uh, yeah, welcome to all these new viewers and uh, welcome uh, to another revolution. Here we go, and what's next? I've seen a bit of it, and this is going to be good.
Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall and introducing first from Bickerberg, Germany, standing at 175 tall, weighing at 95 kilograms, he is the German bruiser, Freddy Stahl. He's always ready, this guy. Former Revolution champion. And so it's going to be seen what this guy can do. Not all that held the title for long, but he also is a former RFPW champion holding the title for 70 days which makes him the forward longest reigning RFPW champion to history and now we come to a guy who's let many revolutions he's let the academy by hand he's let new endeavor wrestling by hand he's held uh, the Revolution Championship, the first time around, held the RFPW title. 12 time champion, Storming, Curtis Norman. This guy has been one of the very inspirations for other wrestlers to join this promotion. This guy has single handedly promoted us into new heights back in 2015. So let's see what it's going to be like. I think we could find new ways for him uh, to go to new heights into this new revolution. And again, if you have predictions and you want points for the fan standings to gain a gift or win a gift possibly at the end of the year, then make your predictions right now. You have one minute into the match. Either it be in Freddy Stahl or Curtis Norman. Take your pick. Oh man. Oh my god, what a throw by Norman. Norman has been suffering with uh, minor shoulder injuries, minor leg injuries. And it's all due to the work rate that this guy has done inside and outside the ring. He meets the fans, he takes pictures, he shakes hands, cuddles here and there with some of the ladies. Gotta keep your female attention also around. So, yeah. I mean like, come on, there's a lot of things we could do. Uh, Norman Canners. Oh, nice flying elbow. And so, you know what? Oh, man. Fish tackle to the knee. Belly to. Whoa. That wasn't a belly to belly, it was more like a belly throwdown. Cover for Curtis Norman. Two. All into account. Freddy Stahl's going for the counter here. He's doing a good job. Oh, and Norman missed the grab. That gave Stahl, I'm sorry, to uh, take over here in the momentum phase. It's quite heating up now. Also, we thank you very much for joining in. Make sure to always subscribe to us at RFPW2014. You can also find us that way on Twitter and Facebook. And if you want to, you can follow us on our website, rfpw2014.wibbly.com. 107 subscribers strong. I can only thank you very much. And all our content is on the RFPW network since our start in 2014. Norman was very close there. Stall! Oh, take down! Face first! Ref is down! Two! Oh no! The Sheffield forearm! 
Will the former Revolution champion get the victory with that then? Normally it is. No! We know that from the German Bruiser. Nearly undefeatable. Damn! He's doing a good job. Oh! Ho, ho. The knee strike. Not busted star wide open. Just look at him. What a mess. Staldo, are we going to see the freaking jackhammer? We do. Good night, Curtis Norman. Friday Stahl wins here tonight. Comes one step closer up the rankings for the Dutch Championship. Wonderful. Oh man, this is great. Oh man, and it seems that somebody has said um, that all of you guys watching out here, you have hit the bottom of the pit. Oh. Poor you, mate. Yeah, that's, uh... Poor you, mate. Yeah, but that's fine, you know? I mean, like, I'm having a good time. Starl is winning. Starl is one of my favorites, so is Norman. Oh, but dude, look at the blood, man. Jeez, can we get a towel for him? I feel like I'm gonna pass out, man. Ooh. That wasn't enough. We're going to get more extreme. And now the women's championship is on the line. In a steel cage match. Yes, you've hit the bottom. Poor you. Oh, nice lights though. We still have something left. Financial instability. So we had to cut down a little. But we're still here. We're still living it. And here she is, the challenger. Oh, I should do this properly. <coughs> the following match is scheduled for one fall, and it is a steel cage match for the women's championship. Introducing first from Norwich, England, Soraya Knight. Oh boy. Last Sunday at Crossroads, um, she was unable to get the victory. Let's see what she can do in the rematch. Oh, oh god, I don't know what to expect from this one. Literally no clue. So Ryan Knight, of course, the matriarch of women's wrestling, former Glamazon championship uh, holder of multiple occasions. And here she is, she has been, uh, since the 11th of August, our current women's champion, Lee Vaughan. Which is from London, Ontario, Canada, to be very precise. Oh, oh I don't know what to say or think about this one. This, this is going to be great. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, let's see. Who are your predictions on? And who's going to win this steel cage match and walk out the women's champion? Mr. TAW Thomas Eddy has gone with Lee Vaughan. And we all, of course, know that Soraya Knight is the bitch, the grand uh, bitch herself, basically. So she can kill anyone around here. She's seen tables, ladders, chairs, thumbtacks. She's seen her right around everything. In the family. 
Hell, she even battles her own daughter. So that's like being a tough mum then. So Ryanite is being swung around the ropes. Oh, good. Well, I call that right around a punch. Can't call that a jab anymore. And of course, all the tanks go out to our partners in OSWTV, the Wrestling Matters podcast, Icky Online Universe, YTW18, uh, the E Fed Zone, uh, Across the Pond Wrestling, and all our uh, other uh, Federation partners and wrestling promotion partners, such as uh, Red Side Extreme Wrestling and Dutch Pro Wrestling. Thank you very much. There you go, oh no. Knight, the first one to actually ascend the cage. But no, not even close. Of course, you can win by escaping the cage. Submissions and uh, pinfalls will be counted. Uh, pinfalls will be counted by an automated system. And submissions will be uh, watched uh, from the outside by one of the outside referees. Oh, jawbreaker. Because you went that. And no, nice German suplex. Jeez. Well, you gotta have that. Tonight of the suplexes again. Sideways. And then she goes. Roy Knight is deadly at any moment. I mean, like, we, we've seen her perform against a lot of people. Um, especially, one of the victims was Mia Yim. So, Roy Knight has held that Glamazon's title also before uh, for 74 days. And she had around 85% of her career in RFPW so far as a champion so that goes to show you how dominant she can be Von Dutch or Vaughn I still can't remember which one she likes to be called now try to scale the ropes here we go single leg take down is it time for Vaughn to give up no and thus so far she is still the champion and so I know it's smartly trying to go for the automated counting system to count the pinfall, only a two. And Soraya Knight, here we go! Fisherman's hook suplex. Three, it's three! Oh my freaking god! It's over and way earlier than I expected. What did we just see? We saw the single leg takedown. And that might have rocked. Uh, well, Vaughn's world better set her legs out. And so that means we have something happening here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is the revolution. Could we call this a flashback? We certainly could. The fisherman suplex, so dominant in the move. It strikes you everywhere on the back and to the neck area. And that was all she wrote for this match. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner and new women's champion, Saraya Knight. The matriarch is back on top. Being uh, the women's champion. Well done. In the mid 40s. And she still kicks ass. How about that? I'd like to see a lot of other people. Man or woman. Try what she has done here tonight. And in a dominating fashion. In which she has. Crazy. It's time for your main event. Oh I can't be more excited about this one. 
Is this real life? Is this fantasy? No, it's RFPW. And the main event is scheduled for one fall and is for the Dutch Championship. Let's meet the challengers. First. This is going to be fun. I'm going to have so much fun with this. You can't even tell. First, from Alkmaar de Nillen, stand at 180 tall, weighing at 96 kilograms, Tommy and... Oh boy, this is one hell of a competitor. 25% chance for everyone. 75% chance of losing it for the champion. Who's coming out next? Oh man. This guy has single-handedly held the RFPW Championship for 365 days. The longest reigning champion ever in history. From Ada de Nillens, standing at 183 tall, winning 94 kilograms, the tremendous Emil Cetucci. Oh god. Oh man. I mean like seriously. Sid Tochi has on it. Well, good to see Tommy and also come into other parts of uh of the world. That's nice. Sid Tochi, three hundred and sixty five days as the RFPW champion. Thank you very much for letting me that know, Thomas Eddie. Also has been in TAW, I didn't know about that. Thank you very much. Oh, who's next? I know. And you will not know him, most likely. Former European champion and tag team champion. Former Dutch champion in the old version as well. Ladies and gentlemen, from Rotterdam, the Netherlands, standing at 176 tall, weighing in at 93 kilograms, representing 010, Max, the King of Bling, Damon. Max Damon is back in RFPW. Welcome back, mate. We've missed you for a long time. And there's only more people to come to RFPW over the course of the next few months. I'll pick some out of them for you. Chris Tyler, Danny Jones, Jake McCloskey, Jack Sexsmith, Mark Kodiak, Daniel Van Kuyk and Kenzo Richards. All star talent from all of Europe is coming to our place. And here he is. Welcome Brian Acuna, of Bri Brianna could be same. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the champion from Eindhoven, the Netherlands, standing at 185 tall, weighing in at 85 kilograms, he is the current Dutch champion, Joel Vox, one of the former tag team champions, the maximum voice. Alongside Max Damon and tonight these two will face each other and Sitochi and end for the Dutch Championship. Introduced at Crossroads. Let's see what that's going to bring tonight. I mean we've got a lot rising on the table here with these cards. We don't need nine matches to tell you any kind of story. We've got four matches filled with history. All that has happened here in RFPW to let you know what is going on in this world. Sitochi is taking it to the champion outside. Max Damon with Tommy in. Damon is going to have a tough time. Let me tell you that. I can't read the difference, I'm sorry, that just might be me. If it's Brianna... See, we have female fans 
I told you this was going to happen. Thank you very much, Brianna, for joining us for the, uh, what I see, the very first time. And we hope you're going to have a good time. Uh, thank you very much for joining. You missed out on the women, but uh, I'm sure you will get to see a lot more of them. I have got to go to do some other things. I can only thank you for joining. Make sure to leave a follow and you will see more women's action here on RFPW. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. Well, oh, Vox is in the railings though. Hope the audience can keep that barrier back. Otherwise they're going into the audience. That would be very unpleasant. She touched with the first cover. Two. Oh no. Nearly three. Oh, she touched have could won another title. Wow. I mean, I'm in love with what we do here. We prove everyone single-handedly wrong. We were told we would not subdue past two months in business. Two and a half years later, we still are. That shows you the retaliation we have. I've been through a lot of shit. We've even survived real-time wrestling. Fan idea, it horribly backfired, but we're still here. Financial instabilities, personal unrest, we've all been there. But we survive because that's what we do in this business. We survive. We never gave up. Riders end goes to the cover. Two. Two. And our new partnerships ensuing. With TAW, with new friends on the horizon. With new projects like the European Wrestling Association coming up soon. I am in no doubt that RFPW will grow even more than to the cause of this year that we have had to thank in all uh, partially to Mr. DeVita of YTW18+. We've proved year in, year out, month in, month out that we are able to suffice, to grow, to be stable and not to fall back. Because we have a lot to prove. Because we always invite new wrestlers via social media by going up to them, talking to them, asking them whether they want to have a showcase in RFPW. And if they like it, they can stay. If not, they will leave. And that's what has happened. The spark from Sitochi and Norman in 2015 and 14 have given us all the edge that we needed. Everyone is so happy this young new talent on the rise that wants to join in. Name Rocky Future, Sean Johnson, Luther Valentine, they are all coming because we gave them an invite, we gave them the option to be here and they gladly accept it. We are backed by the wrestlers themselves and that's something you have. Damon with a close cover because if you can't have support of your own wrestlers then you're gone. And so we're backed by the actual lot of them backstage and in front. And Vox is out there with Tommy End. Damon is out there with Satoshi. Vox trying to go for the retention. No. It's hard to focus on two sets of action, but we'll try to do so. And Damon is out there. Damon, oh god, shining wizard. Vox, no. Damon, be smart. Cover Satoshi. You're doing the wrong thing, man. Santos will not be happy with what you're doing, mate. Zero Ten is the first Dutch group to start entering uh, right as of now. With Daniel van Kijk and Santos their leader. 
the uh, well, he's the example, Santos, coming soon to RFW. But I mean, oh no, Vox, no. Fox is trying to hang in there. But he's up against such tough opponents. Oh no, the, the ref is knocked out. Of course, why would it be anyone, a member of Zero Ten, to do such a thing? I want to thank you all for the support. Tommy End busted open. God damn. Oh, so touch you with the stretch, but the referee is still not up. I mean, come on. Oh, uh, you're. Uh, I have to inform my viewers that you are um, actually uh, doing the unsensible idea and watching shit wrestling. Uh, well, thank you for watching the shitty E-Fed. Uh, or the shitty wrestling promotion. We're all happy about that. At least I am. And I missed something. I missed the exact moment that the cover was made. That's great. Vox, try to go for the cover. And just let's get some in-depth camera angles. Just look at that nice thing in neck breaker though. That was just as the ref got up. The ref is still looking a bit around, thinking, where the fuck am I? And Tommy N is just nailing him on the wood. And I think we have a winner. And a new Dutch champion, bloody and all, Tommy N has done it. His first main championship. I has won it. Tommy N is your Dutch championship holder new era beginning a revolution let's see what he has to say about that next week thank you all for watching and thanks for watching the shitty wrestling and i see you next monday night on fight night good night and goodbye That was a great show. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. Uh, and we will see you Monday for Funk Night. I've loved this show. Thanks for watching the shitty wrestling once again. I've had the most amount of fun with all of you guys. Uh, thanks for your predictions. Uh, and we will see you soon. Uh, yeah, that sick music comes from Epidemic Sound, one of our new partners uh, who have opened up their library for us to use. And starting, I guess, around 2017, we will actually get uh, a lot of music for everyone on the roster. Again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a great weekend still, as I'll be going off in my bed reading some uh, other messages while I prepare for my night shift. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs>